Australia. Please welcome Lucas Big Daddy Brown. I've always admired boxing and all that sort of stuff. You know, growing up, watching Mike Tyson in particular was uh, one of my favourites. Um, not knowing that I was going to be a heavyweight, I always wanted to be heavyweight champion of the world. I did security for about 12 years. I was never a bully or never come out and caused any dramas, but obviously finished it if it was started. I didn't want to look back in my life and think, what if? I had a cage fight. Two weeks later, I had a kickboxing fight, and the week after that, I had a boxing fight, and that's sort of how I started my fighting career. I knew that I wasn't going to be an MMA fighter. I'm not, I'm not a wrestler. I'm a big, heavy boy, but if I was on top, I was fine. If I was on the bottom, I, I was struggling. I threw two kicks in eight fights as well, so everything was just punching. So I, I sort of quickly realised and, and sort of just went the path of boxing for that reason as well. I was a state pitcher for baseball, so I think that's where the sort of the right hand comes from. I don't like the fact that you sort of leave the judges, uh, like your fate in the judges' hands. So if you knock them out, they're out. You won. Like this, so there's no discussion about it. Everyone likes watching the people get knocked out as well. I became the Commonwealth title holder, which was a nice little stepping stone and, and, and a good thing there. But uh, unfortunately, got outshone by uh, Alex fighting Klitschko at the time. So it'd be good to actually become a heavyweight champ. I sort of went out wanting to, be, to get one belt. Just sort of, uh, I get a belt, I'll be, I'll be fine. So I've got eight boxing belts at the moment, and, and continue on, I'll get as many as I can. So I'm very happy. If I was to stop today, I'd be very happy with what I've done, um, but I do really want to sort of push myself to see how far I can go. I'm 21 and 0. I love to knock everyone out. There's never going to be a dull moment when, when you watch me fight, and that's one thing I did take from sort of watching Tyson grow up. Um, no matter what, if it lasted one round, it was going to be the most explosive one round you've ever seen in your life. I do want to bring that aspect to it. I'm an animal in the ring, but a nice guy out, you know, and very personable. You know, people approach me all the time for photos and things like that, so I do want to, to be one of those people that's like the people's champ to be liked. Yeah, basically, you, you can always expect fireworks from, from watching one of my fights.